Verb. 1. Verb is a countable noun. Word forms. Plural. Verbs. 2. Verb is a verb. 1. Verb is a countable noun. Definition of verb noun. 1. A verb is a word such as sing, feel, or die which is used with a subject to say what someone or something does or what happens to them, or to give information about them. 2. A verb is a word or phrase that describes an action, condition, or experience. The words run, keep, and feel are all verbs. 3. A verb is a word or group of words that describes an action, experience, or state, such as come, see, and put on. 4. A verb is a word that characteristically is the grammatical center of a predicate and expresses an act, occurrence, or mode of being that in various languages is inflected for agreement with the subject, for tense, for voice, for mood, or for aspect, and that typically has rather full descriptive meaning and characterizing quality but is sometimes nearly devoid of these especially when used as an auxiliary or linking verb. 5. A verb is any of a class of words expressing action, existence, or occurrence, or used as an auxiliary or copula, and usually constituting the main element of a predicate, example, give, build, run, be, happen, do, have, would, seem. 6. A verb is a word or group of words that expresses an action, such as eat, an event, such as happen, or a state, such as exist. 7. In traditional grammar, a verb is any of a large class of words in a language that serve to indicate the occurrence or performance of an action, the existence of a state or condition, etc. In English, such words as run, make, do, and the like are verbs. 8. In modern descriptive linguistic analysis. A. A verb is a word or group of words that functions as the predicate of a sentence or introduces the predicate. B. A verb is an as modifier. C. A verb a verb phrase. 2. Verb is a transitive verb. Verbed verbing. Mean, to use, a word and especially a noun, as a verb, to make, a word, into a verb. Example. A television announcer in Vero Beach of Florida spoke of a promise to upkeep the beach, thus verbing a word that had been in use as an honest noun since 1884. But it is by no means unusual for a noun to be verbed. Other pronunciation of verb. 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 Verbs. Verbs. Example sentences of verb. 1. A noun that receives the action of the verb is called a direct object. 2. An example is the verb to buy. 3. Anyone learning a language needs to take care with irregular verbs. 4. Both subject and verb should be singular or both should be plural. 5. A Criminal Minds is a gigantic streaming hit that was created before streaming was a verb. 6. For him, faith was a verb, something fulfilled in the daily doing of what needed to be done. 7. Is there truly a verb to herb? 8. Make your subject and your verb agree. 9. Mechanical updates like this feel like Naughty Dog went back to their original creation and infused a tangible way of evoking unease using the all-powerful verb rather than weaving it into the narrative. 10. Ordinary English subject verb word order is marginalized, often in favor of lonely, attenuated prepositional phrases standing in for sentences. 
Eleven, she continued with the irregular verbs. Twelve, that is when art bag, the go to store for ladies who lunched, when lunch was a verb, and who needed their choicest handbags repaired and restored for those Tony lunches, leaves town. Thirteen, the dictionary defines the verb abuse as to use something to a bad effect or for a bad purpose. Fourteen, the noun tapa and its verb, tapir, appeared in the Real Academia Española Dictionary for the first time in 1936. Fifteen, the structure of the English finite verb phrase is really rather beautiful. Sixteen, the verb to groom was initially used in the 19th century, first in terms of currying, brushing, and feeding horses. Seventeen, visitors can look up how to translate a word, see the plural form of the word, change the tense of a verb or add an adjective to a noun. Eighteen, when the subject receives the action, the verb is in the passive voice. Nineteen, government can take a singular or plural verb. Twenty, add an ending to make the verb agree with the subject. Twenty-one, adverbs modify verbs. 22. Another section is devoted entirely to grammar drills, including the use of prepositions, comparatives, negatives, and verb tenses. 23. Do you know how to conjugate the verb seek? 24. In the next section we will also discuss the loss of a morphological rule that created causative verbs from adjectives. 25. In this essay he has used the same verbs over and over again. 26. It will be noted that these begin with a verb stating the action students are expected to show. 27. Similarly, transitive verbs contrast directly with intransitive verbs, but only indirectly with adjectives. 28. The analysis will also automatically identify all pronouns, prepositions, conjunctions and verb forms in the text. 29. The main noun in the subject is boldfaced, the verb is italicized. 30. The subject doesn't agree with the verb. 31. The verb in question is a contractible verb, just as in the case of tag controlled deletion. 32. Transitive verbs take a direct object. 33. What's the main verb of the sentence? 34. The words run, keep, and feel are all verbs. 35. The first is that the noun in this construction already has some of the semantics of an ordinary verb. 36. By contrast, ordinary adjectives without passive morphology were unlikely to be reanalyzed as verbs or to give rise to a verbal interpretation. 37. Another useful verb, need, turns out to be both ordinary and modal. 38. Even if verb is taken here as a shorthand for argument taker, it may be thought that no harm is done, because prototypical argument takers are verbs. 39. Pathbreaking verbs in syntactic development and the question of prototypical transitivity. 40. Or, adopting a distributed point of view, conceptual representations of verbs may share fewer meaning elements in a bilingual's memory than those of nouns. 41. The verb and particle to ee run is revised and replaced with the verb and particle tully enter. 42. This pattern was maintained at four years except that verb alone responses were replaced with more pronoun verb responses. 43. Regular past tense verbs show a distribution that is even more fascinating. 44. A telling example of importance for the study reported below involves thematic, verb raising. 45. An important difference, then, between agreement verbs and plain verbs is in the role of the body. 46. In these instances, then, the entailments of sentences with spatial to phrases are determined by the meaning of their verbs. 47. The several chapters on verb meanings are not collected together, which means that related themes are not brought together. 48. The drop and recall for verbs and, even more, for adjectives is mostly due to the lack of structural information. 
49. This suggests that production data may substantially underestimate early verb learning. Did you know? What is a verb? Verbs are words that show an action, sing, occurrence, develop, or state of being, exist. Almost every sentence requires a verb. The basic form of a verb is known as its infinitive. The forms call, love, break, and go are all infinitives. Almost all verbs have two other important forms called participles. Participles are forms that are used to create several verb tenses, forms that are used to show when an action happened, they can also be used as adjectives. The present participle always ends in ing, calling, loving, breaking, going. There is also a kind of noun, called a gerund, that is identical in form to the present participle form of a verb. The past participle usually ends in ed, but many past participles have irregular endings, called loved, broken, gone. The verb's past tense usually has the same end form as the past participle. For many verbs, however, the past tense is irregular. An irregular past tense is not always identical to an irregular past participle, called loved, broke, went. The two main kinds of verbs, transitive verbs and intransitive verbs, are discussed at the entries for transitive and intransitive. Thank for watching.